What is up, guys? Welcome to The Buff Show. Today, me and Austin are going to be going over property taxes. Riveting stuff. Riveting stuff, but something that the people need to know. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> Give the people what they need. Th this has been a wild year because I got, like, it's kind of a sucky time of the year because every year I get all these letters coming back mm. saying, hey, your taxes have gone up. Yeah. on all of our properties and we get yeah. we have a few so we get multiple and I look at each one and I'm like huh like that's a big change right and it's been interesting because we've been in the shifting market and I I was I I've all, I was curious I'm like I wonder when they they release the property taxes what they're going to look like and I was shocked that every one of mine went up I know every one of them despite we just did a, a market update uh podcast and prices have gone down. Right. Like, uh, inarguably, prices have gone down from last year to this year. Yeah. Depending on when you're looking at it. Like, right now, we're only down, like, 5%. But, like, in February, we were down almost 10% year yeah. over year. Yeah. I'm sure when they put this together, someone was working on it or whatever, we were down 10%, and yet they're saying we went up. Yeah. So, if you have the same feeling, then let's let's talk, because we can help you. You have until September 15th. Depending on what county you're in, their rules are different. But we're going to go over kind of Weber and Morgan counties. That's what we have here. So let's start out with the first question. The first question you need to ask yourself, if you got that property tax statement back, and let's say you have a house that's worth, let's say it came back at 500000 mm -hmm. valued with the, the county. The question you need to ask yourself is, could you sell your house for $500,000 today? Mm -hmm. If the answer is yes, leave it alone. Like, it's not worth your time. That's they're, they're, The county's goal is to fairly assess your, your property on what current market conditions are and what you could sell your house for today. If the answer is no, you could not sell it for $500,000, let's say homes in the neighborhood are only selling for four hundred. dollars Mm -hmm. then you have a good argument to appeal your taxes and potentially get a, a lower tax bill. So if you can answer no, you can't sell it for that much, then we're going to dive into what you should do next. So there's a few ways that you can combat your property taxes, and we're going to dive into dive into them. Can, so, I, can I also preface what you said? Yes. So if your house is worth 500 or, or sorry they're saying it's worth 500 but you think you can only sell it for 475 i don't know if the juice is really worth the squeeze to go through this process because you're probably going to save about 20 bucks right like it, it's not as much as you'd think yeah they don't do it off of the full value of the house they do it on taxable value which what you could sell it for is a large portion of that but right. if there's a large variance Let's talk, right. and we can probably save you a couple hundred bucks. But right, for sure, or, or a couple thousand, depending on yeah. the situation. But uh, not a couple thousand, but you'd have a really nice house, <laughs> yeah. like really nice, if yeah. you were doing a couple thousand. But so, there's a few ways that the counties want to what what they want to see for a proper appeal, depending on which one you're looking at. Weber County has the first one as comparable comparable property selling for less, and this is where we can step in and help out because we can take your house, we can find similar options or similar houses. So if yours is a Rambler, we'd find other Ramblers in the neighborhood within like say a mile radius, within plus or minus 10 years built, similar square footage. And if we can prove that those ha homes have been selling for less than what they're assessing you at, if you send in two, three or four of those, mm -hmm. there's a good chance that they're gonna lower your, your tax bill. This is the same thing we would do for a new listing. We're trying to figure out what we're going to sell it for. Yeah. Uh, we pull comps every single day. We right. can do it in 15 to 20 minutes for you guys. Not a big deal. Just just ask us. Yeah. So the next one is if you've purchased or refinanced your property within the last two years, if that, because anytime you purchase or refinance, you're going to most likely get an appraisal. You can take that appraisal or your purchase documents and be like, hey, I know you're saying my house is worth 600, but we just bought our house for 400 mm -hmm. with like a year and a half ago or a yeah. year ago. That's really good proof that that's what the market value is on your home. Yep. So you could send in those papers and they would most likely help you out. Or, hey, there's this third party appraiser. That's his full time job. 
he said it's worth this. Yeah. That'll be a strong argument. So, and that's the next one I was going to talk about is a current appraisal. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's good because we're going right into that. So a current appraisal made by a professional, uh, you send that in and that's a really good argument on, on uh, the value of your property. The other ways you could do it is like an income approach, but that's really only for commercial properties. Another thing to consider, so Morgan doesn't have this, but I didn't see it in Morgan's. Mm -mm, No, it doesn't say it outright. But if your property was damaged, let's say your part of your house caught on fire, there's a big flood, or I mean, it says natural disaster or affected by access interruption. Basically, if your property was damaged and is no longer worth what they're saying it is, if you let them know, like, hey, our house burned down, there's no longer a house there. It's just a lot. And obviously, you're going to be taxed a lot less. So letting them know that would be helpful and probably save you some money on on your taxes. So those are the four ways. I mean, r- really, the, the main ways that we can help is the comps. Like, we can find you comps in the area. If you just bought it, like, it's easy. Send in your purchase contract. Hey, we just bought this for $400. you are valuing it at $600. There's obviously a discrepancy there. Or if you have a, 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 an appraisal or, or something done within the past year or two, you could send that in as well. So I would think if you bought within the last two years, the county probably is not going to be that far off because they're going to be using your purchase price too. But sometimes could, I could mean, be. Utah's non-disclosure, so they're not really looking at it. They just kind of text or they have this number, number that they will – get a number for your property mm-hmm. times it by that percentage point, oh. and that's where they come up with their taxes mm-hmm. but so it, it depends but yeah there and you'll get a lot of counties like i had one in davis county they called the other day and they're like hey Peyton, we just saw you sold this property what did it sell for i never called them back just because i didn't want to get the county them. called you yeah Re- interesting yeah they're, they're they're trying to get as much access and info as they can mm. as to what properties are selling for. It is on the MLS, but from my understanding, counties don't have access to that. They don't have a, an agent inside their office. Right. So there's no way for them to really get the, the data. So you just appealed. Yeah. I did a property tax appeal. Yeah. T- tell us how it went. What was the process like? A little backstory. We're staying in our in-laws house for the next three years. They're living in Ecuador. Uh, We got their tax uh, notice in the mail. I saw it, and I saw that it it spiked 23%, 24% year over year. From last year. Yeah, from last year. I'm like, this, that's not right. Yeah, you're like, if anything, we're down 10%. Exactly, exactly. 30% swing. Yeah. So I reached out. I'm like, hey, do you guys want me to run you through the the process and kind of just do it for you guys? They're like, yeah, of course. So... Pulled some some comparable sales from the area. One of them was actually a house that Peyton and I sold just recently. So I gathered three comparable sales. I, there's a form on Morgan County's website. It's really quick, basic, just basic info about the ownership. Um, so you have that form, you have your comparables, and then the owners sign that form, and you can email it off. On there, it says you have to like drop it off, like old school you know, papers to the office, but you can email it in. Okay. And I was surprised. It was like two or three days before they got back and they said, yep, we will, we will take down the value of the home by about 21% really? from what, Dang. yeah, from what they initially sent us. So it, it was a tad higher than what I was proposing, but I was just trying to see how much we could, we could get away right. with. Uh, Because I did have some comps that supported a a really a lot lower, so we we met in the middle, but we definitely won. Like it was worth it for sure. Yeah, no, that's awesome. So it is doable, and they were quick to get back. It was. So you have until a a few key things you want to note here. You have until September fifteenth, unless you're going through like serious hardship in the hospital or something like that. The deadline September fifteenth to appeal these. Another thing to note is evidence should be based on the tax lien date of January 1st of this year, 2023. So there, a lot of people, and I was kind of under the impression too, like, oh, well, this house just sold. And it's like, well, they're not looking at sales right now today. Mm -hmm. They're looking as of January and like back. 
Yeah. And I think some of the ones you sent were like right in January time. Yeah, it was early yeah. 2023. Yeah. So that's, but if you send something that's like right now today, they might not take it. They probably, I yeah. don't know the answer, but they're probably looking for like a few months within that yeah. January date, ideally, or going back the in into 2022 so what's interesting is when they they replied with that they actually sent their own comps so they have someone sitting there basically doing the same thing i did they sent their own comps different properties really yeah like Um, mls sheets and everything yeah really yeah so they have somebody licensed in there that's making sure nobody's getting to i'm trying to remember if it was mls sheets but but they they were legitimate recent comparable sales Hmm. Which Crazy. I was surprised that they took the time to to pull that. Probably just checking because it's interesting. Yeah. Like we could skew things, yeah, on any property quite a bit by just picking the you know the lowest ones. Like yeah. every house, there's a pretty big swing, um, and they don't know exactly what the interior's like. And no. so on every one, like if we're trying to save you money, obviously the goal is to show pick the lower end of yeah, the comps the lower end of the comps within reason like right. we have integrity right but yeah i was trying to do that for my in-laws to see just how much we could get that needle to move right there was an argument for lower yeah but, but you were somewhere in the middle and that's where you ended up settling so yeah. no that's awesome so if you guys need help with this we'd be happy to help you out with the process and your comps um whatever you need and then as far as submitting things weaver county does it online morgan you can mail it in or you can email them, it sounds like. So there is, it's really not too bad. It's an easy no. way to, to save some money. Mm-hmm. I haven't done it on any of mine. I need to go back and look. It's on my to-do list. But I know there's, I could probably on almost every one of my properties get it down. Yeah. Some. It's going to come out to about 500 bucks in savings from my in-laws. Right. With, I don't know, half an hour to an hour's worth of work. Yeah. So It's worth it for sure. Yeah. Well, sweet. Well, if you guys have any more questions on the the property tax appeal process or comps or anything like that, feel free to reach out and we'd be happy to help you out. Thanks, guys.